there have been two bus accidents in Zimbabwe. And I said that November the enemy is looking for blood. You are seeing it. He is not finished. He is not finished. I saw an accident with somebody's head decapitated. So we need to pray. Hallelujah. And I believe when we pray here, God hears us. How many believe that? So all this that you are seeing, um, I want you to make available, please, media, the, the, the message on evil winds. Because all this that we are seeing, imepo. Imepo, irugu sumutu wa ni waka ipa. Muna November. Hallelujah. The enemy is showing off. I refuse for the devil to show off in my life. David said, my enemies rejoice not over me. I mean, can you imagine the celebration on satanic altars after that second accident? They said, we have hit it again. I mean, you can try and bring out any sort of explanation, but the bottom line is, and and so we've got to get up our loins as people of God and really engage God and silence these evil winds. Are you in Proverbs 1? Now, look at this. In Proverbs chapter number 1, the Bible says in verse number, number 27, when your terror comes like a storm, he's showing us how terror comes. It comes as a storm. Now, in a storm, the major factor is not even the rain. The major factor is the wind. Are you listening to me? So he says, your terror, the terror of Zimbabwe has come like a storm. And your destruction comes like a whirlwind. Can you see it there? So destruction and terror, they come like a wind. Then he says, when anguish, when distress and anguish come upon you. How many are experiencing stress this November? So the enemy is using evil winds to cause distress. So we need to silence the evil winds. So we want to silence the evil wind that has been sent to Zimbabwe. Before Jesus could get to the madman of Gadarene, he was threatened by an evil wind. The Bible says the boisterous winds. Are, are, are you understanding? So the winds were causing the waves to hit the boat of Jesus. So we need to silence the evil winds of the enemy. There are winds of divorce. There are winds of sickness. There are winds of diseases. There are winds of frustration. There are winds of stagnation. There are winds of poverty. I want us to pray against evil winds and silence them. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying this morning. We declare and we decree that every contrary wind that has been assigned against the nation of Zimbabwe, bringing so much disaster into this nation in a short space of time, Father, we declare and we decree by the authority of Jehovah, we silence that evil wind in the name of Jesus, contrary winds that have been raised by the enemy, we silence them in the name of Jesus. As a church and as a ministry, we come against every satanic altar releasing evil winds in Zimbabwe, winds of accidents, winds of disaster, winds of problems, winds of political problems. We silence them in the name of Jesus. We realize even the political turmoil and unrest in the nation is not because of men, but it is evil winds that are backing those arguments, that contention. So today, as a church and as a ministry, we stand in the gap and we say to that wind, that evil wind working against the nation, 
causing political unrest in the nation we silence it by the power in the blood of Jesus this week of high tension politically we step in as the children of God and we invite our God onto the scene and we say oh Lord do not continue to look while this situation carries on and gets out of control in the nation of Zimbabwe Father God silence the political turmoil the political evil winds silence them Lord we know oh God you can turn around that situation in seven days the evil winds that are causing disagreements in political circles we silence them we invite you Lord to step in we read in the Bible in the book of Daniel chapter number seven how the enemy he was making a boast until the ancient of days stepped in ancient of days step into our country step into the politics step in oh lord touch the hearts of people in political circles cause them to come up with some level of agreement that will bring sanity into the nation we are praying for this for father it is in our interest as the children of God living in Zimbabwe so today as we pray in the Holy Ghost clapping our hands we silence the evil winds that have been assigned against Zimbabwe politically in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray clapping your hands come on we need this thing to change in the name of Jesus political turmoil we silence it in the name of Jesus let there be political peace in this nation of Zimbabwe in the name of Jesus the hearts of kings are in the hand of the Lord you turn them whichever way you please father turn them in the way in the way of peace in the way of agreement in the name of Jesus the nation has suffered too long we refuse to allow egos to cause the nation to suffer anymore in the name of Jesus silence those egos silence the argumentative spirit in the name of Jesus silence the spirit of contention in political parties in the name of Jesus let there only be things that will cause the nation to progress that shall be put on the agenda in the name of Jesus we come against personal agendas we come against personal vendettas in the name of Jesus it's time for the nation of Zimbabwe to arise in the name of Jesus turn around this economy oh Lord do not allow the politics to continue to affect the economy to continue to affect the exchange rates to continue to affect liquidity on the marketplace to continue to affect investment to not allow this thing to continue oh God we realize that it is a function of evil winds and in the name of Jesus father we silence the evil winds winds from under the water winds from the sea winds from the north winds from the east winds from the west winds from the south that have been assigned against the nation of Zimbabwe we silence those evil winds in the name of Jesus now father we silence the winds that are causing disaster in the nation of Zimbabwe that are causing disaster that are causing accidents in the name of Jesus people are perishing one accident after the other do not be silent oh God step in oh do not be silent oh God we beseech you today we beg you Jehovah to step in today in the name of Jesus oh Mahaya do not be silent oh my God do not be silent oh my father my God do not be silent do not allow the enemy to continue to prevail oh do not allow the enemy to continue to win against the nation of Zimbabwe and just like in the book of Daniel chapter number seven the enemy he was boasting the enemy was excited the Bible says that the enemy was making war against the saints and he was prevailing until the ancient of days stepped in 
ancient of days step in go na mahaya eh la mazota la mahaya is there anything too hard for you oh lord lord you can step into our situation and cause a change lord you can step in and cause an immediate shift in the name of jesus sama haya anda mahaya eh kandolo bozenda la mazenda la mahaya we can't allow the zimbabwean economy to suffer like this we can't allow accidents to continue we can't allow investor apathy to continue in the nation of zimbabwe we need people to step in and invest in this nation on the mazata la mahaya father god step in and make it conducive for investment to come into the nation of zimbabwe and amaze kala mahaya investment that will change the nation of zimbabwe economically in the name of jesus atamazo tala makata la mahaya we come against corruption in the name of jesus oh la maze kala mazo tala mahaya e kabaze tala majo tala mahaya father step in oh lord step in oh god step in oh god step in oh my father my god step in on our behalf oh la maza tala makata mahaya and me zendele me keri ana la mahaya father step in there is not enough forex for medicine we need you to step in there is not enough forex for fuel we need you to step in silence this evil winds that are working against the nation of zimbabwe winds that are blowing away investors oh father god silence those evil winds in the name of jesus atamazata la mahaya our children's future is at stake lord we need you to step in oh father silence the evil winds in the name of jesus contrary winds that fight our nation fight them in the name of jesus contrary winds that cause bad decisions silence them in the name of jesus father i pray that you recalibrate the zimbabwean economy and make it conducive for us to do business and make it conducive for children to go to school and make it conducive for medicines to be in full supply in the nation of zimbabwe oh namazata mahaya and namazo ndolo bokondi manja ndala mahaya intervene oh lord intervene on the finances of zimbabweans too many people are suffering oh god do not be silent while we are suffering do not be quiet while we are suffering we need you lord we need you we need you to step in more than ever before we need you and namazata la mahaya step in oh my father my god oh my lord my god my savior you are our redeemer you are our savior you are our provider for provide the much needed foreign currency in the nation of zimbabwe lord we don't care where it comes from we know you can do it we know that is not impossible with you oh bakasata la mahaya in the mezende lebo kondi masha kala mahaya step in oh my father my god my lord my savior and my king when we are overwhelmed we can only come to you as zimbabweans we are overwhelmed oh lord when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to a rock that is higher than i and rock is christ jesus jesus son of david step in in zimbabwe here jesus speak to these evil winds and tell them peace be still speak to this accident and tell them peace be still speak to this economic turmoil and tell it peace be still speak to this political turmoil and say to it peace be still for when you speak no one can resist when you speak no power can resist oh we need you to do oh lord is arise and scatter the evil winds arise oh lord psalm 61 psalm 68 verse number 1 arise oh lord let the enemies be scattered arise oh father let the enemies of this nation be scattered arise oh lord let corruption be scattered arise oh lord atamaza kalama let political problems be scattered arise oh lord in abazi kalama let shortages be scattered arise oh lord silence these evil winds in the name of jesus oh mazata la mahaya when we come to you oh lord it means we have tried everything and we have failed but you oh god are not a failure you cannot fail oh god atabazu kalama haya and la mazida la majuto lo bogoni mahaya you are a god who cannot fail you are a god who cannot fail now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we may ask or think and amazika la mahaya when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the lord will raise a standard raise a standard in the nation of zimbabwe raise a standard oh god raise a standard oh my god raise 
raise a standard today, O God. And raise a standard, O Lord. Do not allow the enemy to win. Do not allow the enemy to make any more progress. Do not allow the enemy to gain any more ground. Step in, O my God. Step in, O my Father. Step in, O my Lord. And we have nowhere else to go but to come to you. That's why we come to you. That's why we come to you. That's why we pray to you. The God with whom nothing is impossible. It's not too difficult for you to turn around this situation. Lord, step in, oh God. Speak to our leaders. Grant them the much needed wisdom to take us out of this situation. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we need you to step in. Oh Lord, we need you to step in. Do not allow the government, Lord, to make laws that are grievous to the people. As you are praying, you are silencing the evil winds. As you are praying, you are stopping accidents. As you are praying, you are stopping calamity. As you are praying, you are causing an end to political problems. As you are praying, you are causing a change in the economy. Open your mouth and pray. This is a kingdom agenda prayer. This has got nothing to do with you personally. Open your mouth and pray, child of God. Though it affects you personally, it also changes the economy of Zimbabwe. It also touches the nation of Zimbabwe. We cry out for our nation. We plead the blood of Jesus upon all the roads. In the name of Jesus. Every road in Zimbabwe, we plead the blood of Jesus. Let there be an accident-free zone. Let it be an accident-free zone. In the name of Jesus. Big Bridge Road, where there are so many accidents. We plead the blood of Jesus. Mutare Road, the blood of Jesus. Bulawayo Road, the blood of Jesus. Kariba Churundu Road, the blood of Jesus. Angels, angels, we assign you on every single road in Zimbabwe. We assign, and we assign you angels of God. Stop those accidents. Wake up those sleeping drivers. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Truck drivers must not have accidents. In the name of Jesus. Passenger drivers must not have accidents. In the name of Jesus. Combi drivers. Oh, Father, we need you to step in. Combi drivers are out of control. Oh, God. We need you to step in. We have tried to talk to them. We can't talk to them. You, oh God, are the only one who can talk to them. Intervene, oh Lord. There's too much blood being shed in the Zimbabwe. In the name of Jesus, we silence it all. We silence it all. Silence all this animosity amongst political parties. Silence them in the name of Jesus. Silence provocative statements. We silence them, oh God. Do not allow it to happen, Father. For it angers the people. Silence it, oh God. We speak, oh Lord, into the minds of all political leaders. We command that the wisdom of God will prevail. That they will say things that are profitable to the nation. In the name of Jesus, let policies that are discussed and agreed on, let them be profitable unto the nation of Zimbabwe. We are tired of these problems, oh God. Even from the days of Isap until now, we are tired, oh Lord. We cannot go to any country to help us. We look to the hills from where comes our help. Our help comes from Jehovah, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Step in, oh God. Like Daniel, we are opening our windows towards Jerusalem and we are saying, oh God, where are you, Lord? Step in, oh Lord. Are you not the God who can do all things? Are you not the God with whom nothing is impossible? Are you not the mighty God, the awesome God? Are you not the God? The beginning and the end. Are you not the God, the ancient of days? You don't get old. You are the ancient of days. Your age cannot be numbered. Are you not that same God who delivered the children of Israel out of the hands of Pharaoh? Deliver us out of this economic problem, oh Lord. We are crying out to you as your children. Even things we have omitted in our prayers, all we can say, Father, is fix them. Fix this situation, Lord. Fix Zimbabwe. Whatever needs to be fixed, fix. Even things we don't understand, just fix 
fix it, Lord. Just fix it, Lord. Just fix it, Jehovah God. Step in, oh my Father, my God. We come to you. We trust in you. Our hope is in you, oh Lord. Our trust is in you. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. Some trust in America. Some trust in Russia. Some trust in Germany. But we trust in you. We trust in you. Sanctions and all, we trust in you. There is so much hatred against Zimbabwe, but we still trust in you. They say we are a hopeless situation, but we still trust in you. They say we have no economy, but we still trust in you. They say we have no forex, but we still trust in you. They say there's no hope, but we still trust in you. Oh, Father, do not let us down. Hear us and hear us speedily, oh God. Like David cried out, I need you, Lord, to hear me quickly on this one. Hear me quickly on this one. If you delay, my heart will faint. If you delay, oh God, I'll be as those who go in the pit. That is what we are saying as a nation of Zimbabwe. Father, we have gone to elections. The problems have not yet been solved. So we need you, oh God. This cannot be solved through the ballot box. They can be solved by divine intervention. Step in, oh my Father, my God. Step in, oh Lord God, step in. We need you to step in. We are overwhelmed. We are in trouble, Lord. Do not keep quiet. Do not be silent, oh Lord. It is you who will talk to America, not us. We, would, we have tried to talk to them, oh Lord. The more we talk to them, the more difficult they become. So this is a job for Jesus. It's a job for Jesus. Jesus, where are you? Jesus, where are you? Where are you, oh Jesus? When our nation is suffering like this, where are you, oh Jesus? When the exchange rates are going out of control, are you not the God who controls all things? Step in and control it, oh God. Step in and change it, oh God. Step in, oh God. Move the exchange rates downward. Step in, oh God. We need you to step in today. We are not crying as those without hope because you are the God of all hope. You are the God of all power. All power is in your hands. We come to you, oh Lord, because we have nowhere else to go. We look unto you. You are our Father. You are our Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, protect our president. We command the hatred of fire round about him. May he be protected from the arrows of the enemy. May he he be protected from evil words. There are so many negative words spoken against him every day. But you, oh Lord, can cause those words to fall to the ground. Father, we command the wisdom of God to be upon that man. The wisdom that was upon Daniel. We prophesy it in the name of Jesus. We prophesy that wisdom. Divine solutions they are coming. In the name of Jesus. Give him favor everywhere he goes. Wherever he goes for meetings that have to do with the agenda of Zimbabwe. Give him wisdom, oh Lord, and give him favor. Let them agree to his terms in the name of Jesus, because he can't do it by himself. Lord God, he needs you. Today we stand as intercessors to pray for him and say, Father, help him. Help him, oh Lord. We might not be economists. We might not understand how to pray exactly. Sometimes all we can say is help our president help him Lord help him to bring order help him to bring sanity help him to bring changes into our nation we cry out unto you oh God hear us oh Lord hear us hear us when we pray Lord hear us oh God we are desperate for answers like blind Bartimaeus the son of Tameas, we refuse to keep quiet today. He cried out and he said, Son of David, have mercy on me. Today, Zimbabwe, we are crying.
crying out to you and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us as a nation. Have mercy on us as a nation. We are crying out to you, O Lord. We are crying out to you, O God. Atamazi kalabaya. Hey, kadosa dalabaya. Atamazi delebekedi bahaya. You are our hiding place. Where else can we go but to come to you? You are our source. You are our everything, oh Lord. We have nowhere else to go but to come to you. Hey, Tamahaya. Bring down the prices in the supermarkets, oh Lord. They are too high for the everyday person. Do not just watch, oh Lord. While people cannot afford food, a devil is a liar. We cry out as a church today. We pray to you as a church. We pray to you as a ministry. Today, 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 today. We need you to step in today. We need you to do something today, today, today. Sometimes we run out of words and all you can say is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, come as at because at the name of the at the name of Jesus, at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. Economic problems they have to bow at the mention of Jesus. Political problems have to bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus step in today. Jesus, step into the banks. Jesus, step into Arabis. Jesus, Jesus, put order in Arabis. Jesus, Jesus, help the new finance minister. Jesus, Jesus, they need strategies from you, not strategies from Harvard, not strategies from UZ, not their own strategies, but they need a Jesus strategy. This is the week that things change in Zimbabwe. When those praises go up, the blessing has to come down. I said, this is the week that everything changes in the nation of Zimbabwe. We don't cause changes by, by, by criticizing our leaders. We cause changes by praying for them. There are so many demonic powers that attack those men and women. Are you understanding? And this is our job as a church to pray for them. Hallelujah. Halle May you continue to intercede for the nation of Zimbabwe on that particular level even you who's watching me on the internet on youtube this is how you pray for the nation of zimbabwe and from today rebuke everyone who complains about the president and the leaders of the nation that is anti-progressive our job is not to criticize our job is to stand in the gap yes they are men and they will make mistakes because they are men and they are fallible but what they need is our backing not our accusations and from this platform, we back, we back our leaders. Are you understanding? We back them because that's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. And we will see changes and we'll enjoy the benefits. We shall eat the fruits of this land. I'm 
telling you 2019 there will be a bumper harvest I said 2019 we will go back to those days of Zimbabwe being the bread basket I prophesy in the name of Jesus there are certain problems that are just ending this year in 2018 because by the time we get to end of December it's still the year of new beginnings 8 is the number of new beginnings there will be a new beginning as we get into the end of the year and we will see it going into 2019 I'm telling you it will be as though all the attention of Jehovah is on one nation Zimbabwe is about to have the attention of heaven and I declare and I decree those who stayed in the country you will enjoy the fruits the fruits of your sufferings you will enjoy them you have endured hardship as a good soldier Zimbabwe I want to encourage you as a man of God and to tell you the best is yet to come and to tell you that your God is about to turn around this situation he will turn it around it and it will be as though it never happened God is about to wipe our tears he's about to wipe our tears in style he's about to change all these things the Bible says when Daniel came out, when, when Daniel's friends came out of, out of that fiery furnace, you could not even smell smoke on them. God would deliver you that the, the, the stench and the stink of poverty, hardship, lack and want, problems that you've been through. You, listen to me, people will not even believe that we as a nation went through this trouble. Because when God delivers you, he delivers you all the way out. Oh my. And I prophesy this over the nation of Zimbabwe. God will bring us all the way out. There will be so much liquidity in the year 2019. You will see it with your eyes. You know when I speak, I'm backed up by heaven and these things come to pass and I decree it shall happen. I see many women doing great businesses. Many, many women I see them rising in the nation of Zimbabwe. The women that have been stuck there in the background. You are about to come to the forefront and I decree in the name of Jesus there shall be a greater presence of prominent women in the economy of Zimbabwe. It shall come to pass. I prophesy over that women's bank and I decree may you receive even more funding to help more women. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. There is a tranche after another tranche after another tranche of resources being released for women. So women you better wake up. You better wake up and you better be a partaker of what God is doing in this coming season. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. But this is the week that things start to turn around. Is anybody excited in this house? Don't relax. Continue to pray. Don't relax. Continue to pray.